are in the business of literally arming Al-Qaeda. And then I'm a conspiracy theorist because I say the globalists may be involved in a Las Vegas false flag when they've been caught staging shootings before. And it's in U.S. government documents like Northwoods and they stand to gain from it. Of course, I think the federal government criminal elements of it are prime suspects in every major event. And I stand by those statements. I am unbowed, as MSNBC said. I want to play some clips and then go to your phone calls right through into the next hour. I want to hear specifically on this issue, and this ties into the open borders. I mean, it's federal law that Obama can't be doing what he's doing on more than 20 fronts. I, I, I mean, they are legalizing felons. They are releasing felons with not even having a trial. Arsonist, rapist, child molesters, 60 plus thousand of them in just the last month. They are, have hundreds of thousands of kids being flown in and just dumped off at airports, filling military bases with them. And Obama says, bring more, we'll get them lawyers, we'll let you stay here. And then fencing them out to foster homes uh, that, that are then federally and state paid. I mean, the country is being bankrupted purposefully. And, and we've known the globalists run... Uh, by the offshore globalist and, and, and Obama's their front man. We've known they want to wreck the country and make us dependent on them. But it's one thing to know they want it. It's another thing to see it happening. It's an, you know, one thing to know a family member's sick. It's another thing to see them take their last breath and die. And they're dead, laying there in the bed in front of you. And we're watching the slow motion slitting of this country's throat right now. I mean, this country's already might be too far gone is what I'm trying to say. And now they are just stabbing us with an ice pick with wanton abandon as fast as they can to make sure the job's been done. And it is unbelievable to watch. And then it's even crazier as an individual. Can you imagine being me? And I just bring this up so you understand where my head's at. Where I study these people, I know what criminal liars they are. I'm called a conspiracy theorist because I don't believe known criminal liars. And... There's the good news of why are they so afraid of this broadcast and the information we put out. Our worldview is so close to reality. Doesn't mean we don't see through rose-colored darklies. Doesn't mean we're not perfect. You know, you know, we certainly have problems. But when you've got thousands of publications opening fire on you and every major TV news channel that's White House run, state run media attacking you on the hour, it's because they want the average weak-minded person that still watches them to see that and to be told, like they're a two-year-old, you don't go near this, you don't listen to this. It's racist if you own guns. The NRA founded the Klan. It's racist if you don't like Obamacare. It's racist if you don't like prison food in the schools. It's racist if you have your own thoughts, and it's terrorism if you talk about private property and don't like MSNBC saying your kids belong to the state. They came out last week before all this happened. The Justice Department, we had an article on Infowars.com about it. And John P. Eric Holder, I always think of John P. Holder and the eco-science guy, the White House science czar, the, the attorney general, with all his scandals and lies and corruption, just like Harry Reid, still up there. It's like having Satan running the judiciary or the prosecution. I can't even hardly talk at this point. It, it's just when I think about all the bad stuff they've done, how openly bad they are, and then I have the attention of these wicked ones, and it's because we know who they are, and we are willing to call them out, and other people won't go all the way. And they're scared to death, folks, and they've said this, that if what I'm saying gets picked up by other people and looked into, it's over. Because naked in the living room is the 10,000-pound monster. Stinking to high heaven, covered in the blood of innocence, wiping its mouth with dead babies like handkerchiefs, sitting in a pile of victims, committing all these crimes and frauds and lies, ripping the country apart. Imagine America like a control room with dials and wheels and diodes, and it's like an 80 thousand pound goblin 
running through with a club, just smashing everything. And I'm just standing here going, that's a big, horrible monster smashing everything. Historically, it's tyranny. It, it's wrecking the country bad. And they're like, that's a terrorist. Any problems in the country, it's his fault. Well, there are going to be a backlash, real or manufactured, against all this. And it's not going to be pretty. But it's not my fault that I'm pointing out the emperor's butt naked. So, in a microcosm, this radio show and what we're talking about here needs to be studied and looked at. Because we got clips of Harry Reid on the Senate floor yesterday and today saying we need to pass laws restricting free speech and looking into people that criticize the government because they may be mass shooters when the mass shootings are flat. And you say, well, they're not going to get their legislation passed. Oh, when they run a PSYOP and blow up a public school full of kindergartners and blame it on people, and, you know, they find a stack of Alex Jones magazines in the back of the guy's car. How that works is I walk out of my house and I get shot, and they say, oh, someone mad at him did it, and it'll really be the FBI. Or it'll be a hired contractor. And they'll do it right when the terror attack comes, right when everybody's mad, It'll be, oh, look, because uh, I've studied how they kill people in third world countries when they do a takeover like this. There's always talk show hosts or writers or people that have criticized them that have the people's ear, folk hero types they've got to kill. They'll kill them right when they stage the big false flag. And then they're going to come after everybody else. They're going to come after all the people at Breitbart that are so scared. They're going to come after um, Glenn Beck. I mean, Glenn, you, you don't think just because you threw me under the bus last month and did all that, that they're going to leave you alone. I told you then, they're going to stage stuff and they're going to come after you, buddy. They, they, they dislike you just as much as they dislike me. Don't think just because you've gone milk toast on people and are backpedaling right now, they're not going to nail you to the wall if they win. I'm going to quote Benjamin Franklin to you, the most famous inventor in world history who invented hundreds of inventions used today in your house. I'm going to quote probably one of the smartest people that ever lived, Benjamin Franklin. We will hang together or we will hang separate, buddy. And that goes for everybody out there. You're not going to run up a flag to these people, a white flag, and they're going to come pat you on the head. They're never going to stop. You may be the most hardcore Obama liberal supporter now. They're getting a police state ready for when they bring this country into a full board depression. They're going to take everything we've got. Our way of life is going to be over when they pop this final bubble. And they want it set where you're a terrorist if you criticize anything. And they've got the police. Look at the Zero Hedge article up on Infowars.com with Department of Defense graphs by them of the arms buildup. The Department of Defense keeps track of it as the tens of thousands of armored vehicles, tanks, fully auto machine guns, 50 caliber rifles, and buddy, they're training with targets, Homeland Security provided, of children called No Hesitation. Military equipment for local police. And look at that. Just in the last year, 533 aircraft, 93,000 plus fully auto with grenade launchers, 44,000 plus pieces of night vision. MRAPs, There's, it's thousands a year. This is just in the last few months. And it, and it goes through graph after graph of what's being masked. That's a very low number in this current Zero Hedge article. I mean, it is full on war training with no war against the police and the military going on. But see, now it starts. <clears throat> and... Again, 7 million people, I forget which university, you can look up, I think the headlines, uh, research or university study, 7 million died as a result of Great Depression. And it says from malnutrition or flat out starvation in the 10 years of the Great Depression, 1929 to 1939, that's the official Great Depression, 7 million people when 90% were self-sufficient and lived on farms. 10% were urban. We're now, flip the numbers exactly, to 90% urban and not self-sufficient. 
10% rural, half of them self-sufficient. We've gone from 5% self-sufficient today when it was 90%. I mean, do you realize the level of the powder keg we're sitting on and they're going to throw a few thousand police in major cities with a, with a few dozen armored vehicles? against howling crazy mobs and you've got enough people that have done murder training on all the shoot 'em up games the pentagon invented i'm not demonizing the games it's just it's a murder simulator it's a killing simulator you got people on drugs whacked out with murder simulators that are in love with death and all the death fetishes that are just everywhere i mean death fetishes i mean i see women all the time completely gorgeous into death into destruction you know murder you know being slapped around you name it i mean that's that's the hot stuff out there there's, there's a depression in this country. Folks, I'm not going to be running around like George Washington with a gun in my hand leading some war against cannon fodder police. I'm going to be keeping my butt out of circulation. That's how you win the